little YouTube day for you again. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the WizKids Warlock Tiles and 2D Minis uh, uh, kit, a preview kit, that came with the 2020 free RPG Day kits. Now, they only had one of these in each of the boxes, unfortunately. Um, my, my, the owner of my local game store uh, basically told me to take this or wanted me to have this um, because I had been, I was the only person that's been running RPGs at their location and it did help boost sales for their RPG products um, over the last few years. So I, I honestly I wasn't going to argue. Uh, the Warlock tiles is something that I'm kind of interested in, something that I would like to uh, to check out, but they are a little bit on the expensive side, at least here in Canada. That's sort of one of the big things holding me back. Um, I did end up losing my job during the, uh, the pandemic, unfortunately. Um, but that's fine, you know, life moves on, I'm not going to worry too much about it. But, um, the, the sets, the actual full sets, um, that they have, like there's, like, the, the, the floor tiles is, like, one set, I think, and then you have the accessories and stuff as a different set. Uh, they're, they are, like, $60, I think, or $69.99, uh, Canadian, which definitely adds up, um, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's quite a bit of money. At this point in time, here in Nova Scotia, we pay 15%, uh, that's one five, 15% uh, sales tax. So this is the only way I'm gonna get a chance to really look at these, I think, for a while. Um, so let's just go ahead and open this up. Now the actual set itself, I have already uh, cut, the, uh, cut the seal on it there. I did have these out earlier just to look at sort of myself um, because I just couldn't wait uh, for the video, unfortunately. But anyway, the, the box itself just has the sticker on the top there. And there's no other like branding or anything on it, but that's still fine. I will definitely be holding on uh, to the box. That's just the way that I am. But if we open everything up here, we have the tiles inside. Now the first time I open this up, everything came pouring out. So that's why I was a little bit more cautious this time around. Uh, so let's just take a look at the individual tiles. I'm just gonna pull them out here. Uh, so the first one is, uh, because you saw it on the top there, this is the floor tiles. Now when I first saw the, the, the tiles, like the, the floor tile set, um, I didn't think, like I thought that they were going to be like super thin plastic. Uh, because you can see, they're actually like two different uh, tiles, they're double sided, so you have a wooden floor on this side here. Uh, but they're double sided and all I saw in the box were them sort of like stacked in such a way that all I could see was one of the edges, so um, these are actually thicker and sturdier than I thought they were going to be, which is good. Uh, it, I, I feel more comfortable if I do get any of these, I do feel more comfortable now uh, having them in my backpack when I do get a chance to run games at store again. Uh, but we have the, the floor here, uh, the wooden floor, and that looks really nice actually, I think they did a good job with that. And then we have this um, stone floor but you have this like blood splatter here and it looks really cool actually I have to say I, I, I really like that detail so that's kind of nice now they also have like these spaces for uh, for clips and things but I haven't had a lot of luck with them so these are the clips I'm probably doing it wrong I'm not gonna bother clipping them in this video um, but I think they're designed to lock everything in place but I can't do it without getting a gap in it so like I said, I'm probably doing it wrong, and I know I'm most likely doing it wrong, but um, anyway. Um, so if any of you have, like, know how to use these clips um, to make it so that they still, you know, everything comes up flush, uh, let me know in the comments, because I that's something that I just wasn't able to do here. Uh, but we also have this wooden door, which is really cool, and the door does actually open up, which is nice. Now the tiles also have these uh, slots in them that it looks like you can also connect some pieces into and they do have this one sort of piece here that does have that connector on it. This is the only piece that has that though unfortunately. Uh, so this is the only one that I can really uh, sort of do it with but what we'll do is we'll just attach that like so and we'll just sort of put this along there like that. Actually, let's go like that. Maybe you'll be able to see the door just a little bit better with this camera angle. And then we've got just another sort of smaller wall piece. Um, 
The tiles themselves are also done, it looks like, in one inch squares, so that will help with uh, you know, the use of minis and things like that. And there we have our 20 by 20 foot room. But what's also kind of nice is it did come with these 2D miniatures. So it comes with three, looks like, kobolds. And they just have these clear bases that they go on. Uh, but what's cool about them, so here we have the plastic kobold. I don't know how well it's going to focus on such a small item, but we have them, you know, the front facing on one side, but on the other side, they actually have their backs, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we have that for a red one, a blue one, which looks like this one looks like a sorcerer, the red one looks more like a fighter, and then we've got this green one, that looks more like sort of a roguish type character, so that's really cool. And like I so said, they all come with these plastic bases that you can just sort of slot them into, like so. And then you can sort of set them up however you want. So overall, I think this is really cool. And I would like to, you know, like I said, hopefully one of these days I'll get a chance to check out, whoops, the... Uh, Check out more of the tiles, like, get to get an actual set. We'll sort of, you know, the, so that's just one of those things, like I said, right now it's just a little bit uh, too pricey for me personally, but uh, there's definitely good quality to them. Um, like I said, they're, they're sturdier than I thought they were going to be, so I'm kind of glad to see that. And yeah, I think these are actually really, really cool. Now, I will say, like, even though the $70 or $60 or whatever the price tag is on them is what I consider to be a little bit too much for me personally right now under current circumstances, this is still a pretty, uh, I think it's still a fairly priced product for what it is that you're getting. Like, I know the Dwarven Forge sets um, have, like, can be significantly more expensive. So this is by no means like a ridiculously overpriced product. I think that, like I said, I think it's a fairly priced item for what it is. Um, and I would like to collect some more at some point. We'll sort of see how, you know, things shape up in the future. But this is really cool, actually. I'm really happy with these. Like I said, the only thing I'm struggling with right now is how to use these clips. Um, because, like I said, what I was getting before were, were like these little gaps um, sort of in this middle section here. So again, I'm probably doing it wrong. Uh, so if you know how to do that, um, you know, the right way, <laughs> uh, please let me know. But overall, this is a really, really cool set. And it, um, yeah, it makes me want to, to own more of these at a point when I can, I, I have the funds to do so. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. If you picked up any of the Warlock tile sets and what are your thoughts on them? And, uh, you know, if you've used them for your games or do you, you know, do, does having this help you sort of like visualize your layout or design your dungeons based off of the, the sets that you buy. So uh, let me know how that sort of impacted uh, your game. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Take care.